everyone welcome back to our next home learning video on King Midas. So today we're going to have a look at the next part of the story, do a few more reading questions and then I'll set you some tasks to be getting on with for today. So let's get started reading the next part of the story. So if you remember, King Midas had just got his ears turned into donkey ears and now they're going to start calling him an ass because that's another name for a donkey. Midas found he could hide the ears if he crammed them both into a tall hat. Nobody must see them, he thought, as he walked about with his hat pulled down over his eyes. All day he wore it. He even wore it at night so that the Queen would not see his ass's ears. Nobody noticed. It was a great relief. They only saw that the king wore the tall, wore a tall hat all day long and hurried to do the same, thinking it was the latest fashion. But there was one person from whom Midas could not hide his secret. When the barber came to cut his hair, the dreadful truth came out. The barber gasped. The barber stared. The barber stuffed a towel into his mouth to keep himself from laughing. You will tell no one, commanded King Midas. Of course not, never no one, I promise, babbled the barber and cut the king's hair and helped him back on with his hat. It was to be their secret, never to be told. The barber had given his promise. He never broke his promises. But oh dear, it was such a hard secret to keep. He ached to tell somebody. He would suddenly burst out laughing in public and could not explain why. He would lay awake at night for fear of talking in his sleep. He kept that secret until he thought it would burn holes in him. But at last, he just had to tell it. OK, so let's have a look at the reading questions for today. So five questions for you to have a go at from this part of the story. So pause the video while you have a go at these and then check back for the answers. OK, let's check our answers. Number one, what did Midas hide his ears, his ears with? A tall hat. Number two, why did people not notice he was wearing a hat? Because they thought it was some sort of new fashion and that everyone was wearing tall hats. Number three, who was the first person to discover Midas's ears? It was the barber, of course. Why did the barber find it difficult to sleep? <clears throat> he was afraid he would tell his secret in his sleep. Number five, what did the barber put in his mouth to stop himself from laughing? He stuffed a towel in his mouth. Well done with those if you got those right. OK, so let's have a look at what we're going to do today. First thing I want us to do is to think about our vocabulary. And I want you to find out what these words mean here, these ones that are in red. You can use an online dictionary, so you can type them into Google or into, into your search engine. Or you might just be able to ask someone in your family what they mean. And I want you to write the definition clearly and then explain each one using <coughs> a sentence. So these are the four words you need to do. Stuffed, gasped, stared and babbled. So we want a definition for them. And then try and write each one into a sentence if you can. OK, so pause the video while I have a go at that part of today's learning. OK, well done with that bit. Let's have a look what we're going to do next. So I want us to keep thinking about our conjunctions. And today we're going to write a diary. So you're going to imagine that you are the barber, the person who was cutting King Midas's hair. And I want you to write the diary for the day that King Midas came into the barber shop. We got a great big shock when he took off his hat and saw his long furry donkey ears. When you're writing your diary, I want you to try and use the conjunctions that we looked at in session one in day one. So they were because, if, when, until and although. OK, so you're going to write your diary imagining you are the barber. So this is how you can write your diary. So some ideas. So you can start with dear diary. You might start going, you'll never guess what happened today in my barber's shop. OK, 
And then these are things I want you to include. So I want you to outline the strange event. Talk about this strange thing that happened. King Midas coming in with his strange ears. I want you to talk about some of the problems that you had when you were the barber, how you couldn't sleep properly and how you had to keep putting a towel in your mouth and all those strange things you had to do to keep quiet. What happened at bedtime? And then maybe you might put in your diary what you think you're going to do next as the barber. Are you going to be able to keep this secret? Or how are you going to stop yourself spreading this secret? OK, so that's your job for today. Write a diary, pretend you're the barber and write about what happened when King Midas came into your barber shop. OK, so don't forget to send me some pictures of the work that you complete. Um, you can send them to my email address. You can put also any of your work onto the school Twitter at Newlands underscore PS. Stay safe, everyone. Have a good week and see you for day three soon. Bye for now.